Besides steaks, perfectly cooked juicy steaks, burgers are my favorite food in the world. In its most simplest form, it is delicious. My favorite type of burger has to be the smash burger. It has everything you want, a nice crust, juicy, flavorful, and honestly perfect. So the thought of making it even better is insane. If we do not experiment, new foods are never gonna be created. That's why today I'm taking smash burgers to a whole nother level. And here's how it all happened. Everything starts off with the right blend of meat. This is 80-20 beef, 60% brisket and the rest is chuck. It makes a very flavorful burger. In order to do this experiment correctly, you must weigh all your balls. To make them perfect, you're looking for 3 ounce balls. Once it's measured, you want to go ahead and ball them up just like that. In order to keep everything consistent and to see which one is going to be better, everything will be exactly the same except the marinade. As for the bread, I'm going to be using this, Guga's buns. There will be a link in the description down below if you'd like to make them at home. But if you're not up to it, I totally understand. Because the next thing you have to try it at home, and it will be this green crazy marinade. It is vibrant, full of flavor, and we're going to be marinating our balls in here. This one has a Mexican flair. That's why I'll be using all of these ingredients. Because to make it, it's quite simple. All you have to do is to throw everything into the blender. Starting with cilantro, followed by parsley, green tomatillos, scallions, garlic, white onions, avocado, serrano chili, salt, cumin, oregano, lime juice, white vinegar, and black pepper. Now you want to blend everything on high? As in the end, you are left with an incredible marinade. Believe me when I tell you, this is so good that you might just want to use it for many other things. But for today, we're going to be infusing this flavor into the burger. Now I don't want it to be extremely overpowering. I want it to go nice deeply into the meat, but not too much. And for that, I'm going to be using my marinating containers. They will do the job quickly. It literally marinates meat four times faster. So after adding a good layer on the bottom, I want to add and added all of my balls, followed by that generous amount of that green marinade. I made sure to cover all of them. You don't have to fill it up all the way to the top, because once you cover them up, you want to close everything nice and tight, as this marinating container comes with this, a hand pump. You just gotta put it down on the valve and give it a few pumps. And that's all there is to it, because the next one is this one. As you can clearly see, not only the color is very different, but it's a little bit more spicy. We're gonna bring it up a notch, as I'll be combining all of these ingredients ingredients into this marinade. And here's how I did it. Into a skillet, you first want to add in some oil. Then you want to throw in some shallots, garlic, ginger, lime leaves, and red chili. The goal here is to bring up some flavor into them. Getting a nice golden brown color is the key. Because now, the only thing left to do once that's done, is to go ahead and throw everything into the blender, followed by some sambal, which is some red chili mix, some dry chilies, tamarind pulp, brown sugar, white vinegar, salt, and black pepper. Now you want to blend everything on high until everything is fully combined, and in the end, you are left with this incredible marinade. This one is quite spicy, but I'm hoping that it's going to be more flavorful than spice, because the next step is exactly the same thing as we did previously. Once the vacuum was pulled, I was ready for the next. This one might not have the best color, but I can promise you one thing. It packs in a lot of flavor. It is a Korean marinade style. I've done quite a few Korean barbecues in my life, and since then, I perfected my recipe. And here are all of the ingredients from a marinade. First, some pear, followed by white onions, a good amount of green onions, garlic, meating, brown sugar, dark soy sauce, sesame oil, low sodium soy sauce, ginger, black pepper, and salt. Now cover it up, blend everything on high, and you are left with this incredible marinade. Now I'll tell you one thing, friends. The color might be a little sus, but whenever you use this marinade with any type of beef, it just makes them way better. And I'm hoping that it's going to do the same exact thing for these burgers. But keep in mind that I still I want it to taste like a burger. I want that wonderful extra flavor without compromising the burger taste. Because now that I got all of them ready, as you can clearly see, the marinating containers are doing its job. And they stack up on top of each other really nicely. So it is easy to put it on your refrigerator. Talking about that, I'll be marinating these balls for one hour. Because once the time is up, check it out. All of the air was removed and it looks like it worked perfectly. Each ball got a nice color of marinade, but now that it did its job and I have everything ready, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. And for that, outside we're gonna go and make this happen. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook some burgers. So let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, me. Yep, you heard that right. After years of development, testing, and tuning, I now have my very own cooking products available exclusively at Walmart. And trust me, guys, you've never seen anything like this. Check this out. The world's first three-in-one burger smasher. Three different patty thicknesses with just one device. Use only the burger press for an ultra smash burger or slap on the adjustable ring that locks into place for the juiciest burger you ever had. Plus, I also included some parts paper as well to get you started. Moving on to my ultimate griddle kit. It has everything you need to cook with confidence, including a 10 inch cast iron griddle, which will last you a lifetime and it will store everywhere. Not to mention that it comes with two spatulas, a detachable grill handle to make sure that you never get your hands burned and a locking mechanism where you can attach it to any grill. That's something you've never seen on a griddle. We also have my vacuum seal marinating kit. And if you want to keep your grill clean, you got to have a grill brush. Guys, each and every one of these products was designed by me with the intention of delivering top quality products that are worth your money. A lot of work went into these and I know you'll love them. So please check them out at your local Walmart or at walmart.com. Thank you for your ongoing support. It's what makes everything possible to make these videos. But now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody. And here we got our beautiful burgers, gentlemen. What do you guys think, huh? It's a good day. I know you like burger videos, Leo. Anytime it's a burger in front of me, I'm like, let's go. And also our favorite kind of burger, smash burger, as you guys can see. So here's the deal. This is a 100% experiment, okay? I have no idea if this is gonna be good or bad because I've never heard about anyone doing anything like this. At this point, I'm used to you saying that. But you know what, Angel? I still get scared. <laughs> no yeah, matter how many times I hear it, I, I don't know what to expect. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. Fresh burger. That works really good, everybody. That works phenomenal. I have to put that down. If not, I'll demolish the whole thing in one bite. You already ate half. I took one bite. Dude, that same. is fantastic. The cheesiness, the bread, the beef, and it's like a little bit sweet. There's something different about this burger. It's not as savory and as salty as we're accustomed to, but it tastes amazing. I feel like it's got a little bit of pizzazz in it. You know, it's fresh. It's like a little bit like flavor of like herbs, you know? Oh, this guy talking about herbs and he don't like no green? I like thyme. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he only like thyme when it's basted with his filet mignon. <laughs> well, well, a lot of butter. Him right. This is a delicious burger. I enjoy it quite well, but I'm curious to find out what you guys are gonna think about the next ones. All right, you ready? Let's do it then. Let's dig in. Enough talking, let's give this one a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Damn, that's a flavor bomb right wow. there. Damn, that's a flavor bomb right there. Wow. This is really good. This is phenomenal. It tastes like so cheesy, right? Mm -hmm. I smell the cheese. I taste the cheese more. It's very gooey, very runny. A little spicy. A little bit. Not too much, though. That's a beautiful, flavorful spice. And again, there's something interesting about these burgers. It's not as like salt, pepper, savory as I'm used to. There's there's so many added flavors. What are you that. talking about, Leo? It's not salt, pepper, garlic powder? No, hell no. Not on these burgers. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. It's an enjoyable spice. It's not too much where it's going to make you go crazy. <laughs> You it's like I mean? more flavor than actual spice. Yeah. It adds another element to make this burger even more delicious. It's it's dynamic, it's in your face. This is beautiful, Google. I can't wait to see what you did to these burgers because so far everything we've tried is great. I feel like I just want to keep biting this one. And like we all said, it's nice, you can feel it, extra flavor, but mild. Yeah, yeah. not very overpowering. Mild. It still tastes like a wonderful and delicious burger, everybody. That's amazing. I cannot wait for the last one. You ready? I think you're gonna be really excited for the last one. And of course, I wanna know which one is gonna taste better of all of these burgers. I know this is wrong, mm. but I'm most excited about this burger because it looks like American cheese, which is like, I love that. I love American cheese on a burger. <laughs> How to make Leo happy. American cheese. American yeah. cheese. That's all it takes. Enough talking then. Let's give it a try and make this kid real happy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, I immediately know that is bulgogi, baby. Yes, has bulgogi. It tastes that. like bulgogi. That, that like Korean flavor plus the savory saltiness of this American cheese, the beef, the caramelization of the patty. Oh my, oh, no. this is a heavenly burger. Tell them, Leo. It looks like a regular smash burger, but, but the flavor is all inside. That's crazy. I don't want to know which one you guys like. This is wanna, tough to what, pick what's a your winner. What's, a, what's your favorite one? Hands down, it's got to be the Korean one. <laughs> How would you guys already knew that was Korean? You can tell immediately, everybody. That's the deal with this one. Immediately. Which one's your favorite? It's got to be the Korean one, bro. I the agree, everybody. 
the way. 110 percent. The Korean one won today. This works so well, but I highly recommend you giving it a try. You're not gonna regret it. It's really, really delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you are interested in any of my products, go get yours on Walmart right now. You can also order at walmart.com. The links will be on the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is the only burger I think I'm gonna finish.